What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball 40 box blaster case. Random team number four. And again, guys, no vet common ship except for Otani Nakunians. We'll ship for the MVP buyback. And again, 30 total spots where we get to run team MLB. 40 box blasters, guys. So here's a dice roll. Here's the customer names and the teams. Let's click roll. And it is a five and a three eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, five, three, eight, eight. Scott at the top, down to Stacy at the bottom. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kansas City Royals, that are the Chicago Cubs. All right, so Scott, you have the Royals. Jeff with the Dodgers. Dave with the Cardinals. Dave Campbell with the Reds. Ryan with the Marlins. Josh Braves. David uh, Tigers. Tristan with the Rangers. Marcus with the Giants. Josh with the Padres. Martin with the Rays. Adam with the Mariners. Noah with the White Sox. Dave with the Rockies. Jimmy of the Brewers, David with the Phillies, Adam with the Angels, Noah with the Guardians, Stacey with the Yankees, Marcus with the Nationals, Kenny with the Pirates, David with the Twins, Wayne with the Orioles, Josh with the Mets, Tristan with the Red Sox, Richard with the Astros, John with the A's, Adam covering with the Diamondbacks, Karen with the Blue Jays, and Stacey with the Cubs. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna close the trade window. Then I don't think there's gonna be any trades. And again, this is a 40 box blaster case. camera over here because I feel like I'm going to drop all these boxes. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, you guys see the boxes. I might actually just move these over here to the side for now, actually. You guys can still see them on camera, right? A little bit. Let me just need to organize this stuff.
All right, there's like literally a mountain of boxes right there. That's all uh, 40 of them. I'm gonna rip these five here, guys. I just gotta make some room. All right, let's start going through these boxes so we can make some room. All right, we got a Brett Beatty, little sepia. And we got Tyler Freeman there. It's a pink. And we got a Max Free to 199 for the Braves. Sepia Torkelson.
All right. Okay, guys, so one of the main reasons why we're live early is for that Bowman draft, guys. We are down to four left in a couple of those picker teams. So I'm hoping by the time I get done with this, guys, you know, we got we get a couple of those done. Again, uh, a lot of those teams, guys, are a little pricey. But, again, they all have top prospects, guys. And, obviously, like I said, when prospecting, sometimes, you know, especially like a day like this, sometimes it's just good to just get into a group break. Because you never know when some of these prospects are going to get called up or get their chance to be a, a, an MLB player. And they might turn out to be a superstar. And right now, no one might not be talking about them, guys. So I'll try to help you guys out as much as possible. Like, obviously, like I said, prospecting is, is a whole it's a whole universe, really, worth of scouting and, and checking out. And, and, and just, you know, like I said, learning, really. Uh, especially with baseball being a, a worldwide sport. But... Um, I did, I did snag a couple of, uh, cheat sheets out there. I was studying them up a little bit and, uh, try to help you guys navigate in case some people are like, I don't know what team to grab. I mean, the A's are expensive, but are they really worth it? You know, a lot of people like to put these players in tiers, you know, tier one, tier two, tier three. Usually if they're like tier one, two or three, they're pretty good. Obviously tier one, meaning like the big ones. You know, tier two are just like on the outside, uh, on the outside looking in. Where like, you know, they're top rated, but they just didn't crack the top five, you know, kind of deal. So a lot of, the, a lot of, there's really only like, I think five or six tier one players. And then tier two players is about like 10. So like I said, obviously those players are good, just they didn't crack the top five. So some of the tier two players are like still top 10 prospects. All right, we got Tyler Stevenson here to 399 or 199 for the Reds. There's a Shohei that's 20 bucks right there, guys. There's an Acuna. That's another 20 dollars. Man, what a blaster that would have been. There's a Corbin Carroll. Michael Harris refractor. Ooh, there's another one right there. That might be forty dollars right there, man. What a good couple blasters right there.
And we got a Ryan Nelson gold out of 50. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Almost halfway through, guys. We're basically one fourth of the way. We've done ten boxes already. Oh man, I think I'm stacking two boxes actually, which actually is not a bad thing. I think I'm gonna stack two blasters each, so you can kind of pack stack and rip more quicker.
All right, I'm gonna move these boxes back here. So that's two in each stack, guys. And then we'll do four more boxes. That'll be two, four, six, eight, ten boxes worth right here, guys. Ten boxes right here, guys. Two in each stack. Whoa, we got an autograph. How about this? On card, Bo Jackson. To 99. Ultraviolet All-Star Autographs. Let's go. Kansas City Royals. That's going to uh, Scott. There you go, man. That was a little surprise right there. Usually I think we got like four or five autographs in a whole blaster case. Nate Eaton. So they're really rare, but... At least it might be something like that, though. Another Acuna base. All right, next one.
Anthony Rendon. Four more boxes here, and then we'll be halfway through the case. And an Adley Rutschman, Ultraviolet, All-Stars. There you go, that's the case hit as well. That is a Orioles Wayne. Alright guys, so halfway through guys, only one autograph in the first 20. Still got 20 boxes to go here. And again, I'm going to try to rip 10 at a time and I'll probably just stack them up on top of each other. Two boxes in a stack.
All right, here we go, guys. Next ten. Hattie Rutschman, Joe Walker, Sepia. And we go, wow, what a case. Refractor autograph, Anthony Volpe. Nice. Uh, that's going to go to the Yankees and Stacy. That's pretty solid out of a little blaster case. You got a Bo Jackson on that one? Yeah. It was the, that one right there. Two autographs so far are pretty nice. Paul Goldschmidt. No one. What is Richard say? Yeah. All right, next one. We got a green Clayton Kershaw, twenty out of ninety-nine. Carol Sepia. Volpe Pink. Rashida Sepia. What a box. Wow, and Adley to three ninety nine. What a what a case. I mean, I know not many crazy hits, but I mean, not as many as quantity. But man, the hits have been great though. And a purple autograph of Brian O'Keefe for the Seattle Mariners going to cover him. And then John Gray, Corbin Carroll, Pink. What's up, Eric? How are you, bud? And a Vladdy. Ultraviolet with an Acuna Sepia, which should be like 40 bucks right there. Yeah, it's good, man. I mean, not a bad thing, right?
All right, last 10 here, guys. So again, obviously, we haven't sold any spots in that Bowman Draft Jumbo. We're down to four in the first couple of picker teams, guys. I really would like to get at least two of those breaks done, guys. I got here at pretty much around like 8.45 in the morning to start at nine. So, I mean, I'm here for like 14, 15 hours today. So please, let's do a couple of those cases, guys. We love to start early if you guys put in the work, which you guys may, may uh, pretty much have. But we're just like one team away, guys. One a couple teams away from getting those breaks sold out. And like I said, we have the rest of the night to continue to rip. Because like I said, you know, if we don't get any cases done with me until 3 o'clock when Joe gets here, that means Joe's going to get stuck with doing them all. And it's pretty much a one-man show with him later for the most part. We might be able to help him, but... Again, those breaks are like an hour plus, hour and a half, and, you know, like I said, you lose a lot of time, so that's why we wanted to start early and get these breaks going for that same reason. Keep the momentum going to the end of the night. So, again, I can help you guys uh, with the um, with the checklist if you guys are, you know, stuck on a couple of teams. Like I said, a lot of these teams, guys, at the end of the day... We can go by what these people say. Oh, this guy's going to be the next. This guy, you know, this guy's one of the top prospects, blah, blah, blah. And don't get me wrong, right now they sell well, which, again, you can get rid of them now. Some some people definitely hold on to them in the long run. But some of these cheaper teams that people are probably aren't talking about as much also have prospects. Doesn't mean they're not going to be good at all, guys. <laughs> like I said, I mean, we just never know. These, these players are not going to see the MLB field for the next few years, most likely. Unless there's, like, some crazy... You know, Trout, Harper guys that just kind of fast track to the MLB. But like I said, um, prospecting is a crazy, crazy world. And like I said, a good opportunity to make your money back on your investment, guys. Some of these guys might not even know who the hell they are. And they sell for 20, 30 bucks an autograph, you know. And they're the more common guys. So they might be coming out a lot. And then it pays for the team itself. You know, you get the low number parallels of colors. Boom. You know, even more. That's right, Eric. Otani officially signed his contract yesterday. Officially, officially. He will be in Dodger Blue for the next 10 years. I'm not sure. I don't think so, man. I mean, I, I don't think the Dodgers need to sign a Mike Trout. I think they're stacked already with what they have. They need, they need more pitching, man. So I would highly doubt Trout would come get traded to the Dodgers. I do believe the Angels will trade him, though. I think now that Otani's gone, I mean, Mike Trout is the only really, really big, valuable player that probably they have that's currently on the roster that I think can get something back for him and just kind of rebuild all over again. So... I don't expect Trout to be an angel for that much longer. I'd be really shocked if he doesn't get traded this year at some point. But then again, like I said, if the Angels lose Mike Trout as well, man, ticket sales are just going to plummet for them. So I don't know. We'll see, I guess, how it works out. I don't. I don't think he's. The, I don't think he's ready just yet, though. I think he has a couple more years in him. But yeah, I mean, he can retire whenever he wants. Money's not an issue for him. should try to go back home to Philadelphia and play for the Phillies.
I just feel like obviously he is getting older. He's not getting any younger. But I, I don't think Trout would want to retire just yet. I think these next couple of years are crucial for him to potentially, if he does get traded, to ring chase, really. I don't think the Angels would ever cut him. But, you know, if he does... If he does get the opportunity to be traded to a contender, I just feel like this is his time where, you know, maybe he won't be the number one guy on the team anymore, but he'll still be pretty good. I mean, you know. Yeah. Was, I mean, I, I think he should have went to Philadelphia a few years ago when he resigned that contract, but he didn't, so. But this, this, I think now is right now the time for him to really maybe get an opportunity to play for a contender to try to get a ring under his belt. And still be able to contribute. He has been hammered with injuries, though. And we don't know if that's going to continue or it was just, just a couple years there. But like I said, he, I think he'd still be a number one guy on any team still when healthy. But I just think uh, if the Angels want to get something back for him, I think this is the best time to do it. Because people will probably be calling asking. You know, it's off season. He hasn't played just yet. We don't know if he's going to suffer a major injury again. So, then again, like I said, Trout is everything to the Angels, too. And then, you know, they lose him, man. They lose Otani and Trout in the same year. That's, I don't know how, how they're going to get people in the stands, really. I guess for opposing teams. Remember the Yankees, Red Sox come play. Obviously, they play the Dodgers every once in a while. Two games here, two games there, but. But it will be interesting now that it's official with Otani. All right, here we go. Wow, Jordan Walker. What are the craziest autographs? Good Lord with this case. Two, out of 250 out of 299, Jordan Walker, purple speckle. Man. And another autograph, Simeon Woods Richardson. I think that's five autographs now. For the Twins. Josh Young.
All right, next box is Otani. Ooh, there's an Adam. Adam Brace. Just those Balconia buybacks have been doing really well. Not as many Otanis, but still a couple of them, though. Easily pays for the spot. Henderson. And we got Wander Franco to 125. All right, six more boxes to go, guys. Two in each stack. Might as well talk to you to Pink. Walda Jack, two three fifty. Last four here, guys. We got a green jazz chisel to ninety nine. Two boxes here, guys. Pujols, negative. Alrighty guys, awesome. So there you go everybody. So that was the break. I'll do a quick recap of the autographs. I mean, there's a lot of cards I sleeved up. Uh, don't really know how many Otanis, how many uh, Acunas, but there was a ton of them. I'll try to see if I can just pull them out here. And obviously if I missed any, do not worry guys. I mean, for the most part, the shipping team will sort out the vet base and, and colors and stuff like that. So, you know, don't need to worry too much. Like I said, uh, Pretty much trying to steal all the bigger rookies. So, there's also this color here. Alright, so basically, some of the bigger ones we got the Adley there, we got an autograph of Keefe, Ultraviolets there, Vladdy Jr., autograph Woods Richardson, Kershaw Green. 
of Ultraviolet's Adley. Then we got an autograph of Bo Jackson to 99, Volpe to 499, and Jordan Walker to 299, which is wild. And then it looks like these were all the Otanis we found. There are three of them, so at least like 60 bucks worth of here. Acuna was way more. I think these are 40, 40, 20, 20, 20, and 40, so Braves definitely made out right there. So I'll top load these right here already. I'll top load all the Trouts and Otanis. Like I said, if we miss any, don't worry. We're still going to ship those at least. Uh, but all the other base stuff will not be shipped. But again, rookie ship, color ship, so all the sepias, all the pinks, insert ship, just the, just the normal vet base. But because these are MVPs, we're gonna ship those because uh, participating local card shops, you'll get 20 bucks in store credit. So there you go, guys. Appreciate it again. This is the 40 box blaster, jazbeescasebreaks.com.